parks. We were the first to tell you about this frightening ordeal outside Minute Maid Park, and now the parents want to warn others. ABC 13's Jessica Willie live at the ballpark with their message tonight. Jessica. Yeah, Eric, these parents say this was so unexpected that as it was happening, they couldn't believe it. It happened during the day. There were people around. This family was heading to the new Astros team store on the other side of the stadium when this man attacked. Such a beloved place, you know. A lot of history there. Minute Maid Park, the ultimate destination for Astros fans. I was wearing my shirt, you were wearing your jersey. And the perfect place to celebrate this father's birthday. We can celebrate, we can take some pictures, and we can go to the team store and buy our youngest son his first jersey, you know. And that was the plan. It was May 6th, the team was out of town, a short ballpark tour on the agenda. Mom and dad, who asked to remain anonymous for safety reasons, loaded their one and three year old sons in their red wagon and headed to the new team store. A half a block short, the celebration soured. I noticed that there was um, a man walking very closely behind us on the sidewalk. We could hear his footsteps. He came charging at the red wagon um, from behind. First, they say he grabbed the wagon. Then he grabbed their youngest son. He grabbed him by his shoulder. He grabbed him by his um, by his head, like almost trying to pull him out. That's when my husband had made his way towards him and he had shoved him away. Mom took the wagon with her two sons still inside and ran. Dad ended up on the ground fighting him off. He was scratched and bruised, but their children were safe. That's your worst nightmare, but that's the last thing you think would happen. Devin Neal was arrested and charged with attempted kidnapping. Court records show he is homeless and has a criminal history that includes two prison stays for family violence. He remains in jail on a half a million dollar bond, and that's where these parents think he should stay. They are concerned for public safety. We just really want to bring awareness to other families like ours because we do have this false sense of security that we are safe. They aren't sure if this is a homeless issue or a crime issue. One practical thing prevented the unthinkable. If you are, you know, rolling a wagon, make sure you, you buckle your kids. Daylight and downtown crowds didn't protect them. They want everyone to be more aware. Could have been a different story. And hope the next time they're here, they can leave happy. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.